Hi, my name is Helen. I'm a member of the Data School UK in cohort 43 at the Information Lab. In this video, we're going to be going over four ways of showing change over time, in this case, sales over time. This video acts as a continuation to my video on data tables. And in this video, I'll be assuming that you already have a date table built. If that isn't the case, please watch the date table video, which will be linked in the description below. So let's jump straight into Power BI. For the first graph we're building, we'll be showing sales over time with the discrete month on the x-axis and then each line will be colored by the year. So for this, we'll have sales on our y-axis with our year in the color legend. For our next line graph, we'll be creating a running total of sales with a continuous date x-axis and so for this we need to create a measure in our orders table and so this is going to be the running sales so here we're using calculate and we're trying to calculate the sum of the sales we're removing filters and we're also looking for dates that are less than or equal to the max date so this is how we're going to make sure that we return only dates or only sales including and up until every month so now your calculation should look something like this and now we can go and try to create our line graph so we're going to drag in month onto our x-axis and then onto our y-axis we're going to drag on the calculation we just made and then you can see we're already looking quite good. Finally, we're going to just put the year into the legend to have it split up color-wise per year. And there we have it. That is our second graph done. So we've now made our second graph, so we're going to move on to the third. This one is quite similar to the one we've just made. So we're just going to copy and paste that graph. And all we're going to do is change the x-axis for a discrete month field. So here I've got the month name field, but if it was just the one to 12 numbers of the months, that would also work. Um, and there we have it. That is our third graph where the beginning of every year starts off with the earnings of everything before it. So that's why they're staggered in height. For our final line graph, we're going to be creating a graph which shows the running total of sales for every year. But in this case, we want every single year to start off at zero. So this is another measure that we're creating in our orders table. So this calculation works as follows. So just what you're seeing on the screen. Um, just a couple notes about it in here we're using the summarize function so this creates a summary table based on specific criteria and in this case it's done by date because it's a running total we also use is not after as well um, towards the end of this calculation to get the running total to make sure that it only includes dates up until and including a month but not after by the end, you should have a calculation that looks like that. And then we can get back in and start drawing our line graph. So here we're going to get our newly calculated field and we're gonna drag that into our Y axis. And then on the X axis, we are going to add the month. And then finally in the legend, we're going to add year. And there we have it. We now have four line graphs which show change over time. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you feel a bit more confident about seeing change over time in Power BI. Please make sure to check the description of this video for the data set as well as the previous video on date tables. And make sure to, to subscribe to the channel to get notified when new videos are released. Thank you.